So now we're going to talk about uh, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to talk about uh, adult children, uh. which is basically what this is. Okay. All right. So I, I, I mentioned some people were asking what the ABDL is, and I actually did it like ABDL question mark because <laughs> I, I, I can't even say, I'm just going to I just got to show you this. I didn't believe this was real at first. I thought this was a Babylon Bee article. Straight up. I yeah. saw this yesterday and I was like, that's hilarious. Babylon B is so good. And I just kept scrolling, like looking for stuff. And then someone, I, I don't remember exactly who or how this popped on my page again today, but someone said something, someone I followed said something on it. And I was like, wait a minute, what is this? Adult baby struggles to find work as employers don't like him wearing nappies. Look at this guy. This guy is su super serious. Wow. I'm going to read about him. Adult male a male adult baby says he struggles to find a job as employers do not like him wearing nappies at work. Damian Turner, 28, has been part of the adult baby, uh, baby diaper lover community, ABDL, for 10 years and wears nappies every day. Now I, <laughs> I just have to stop for a second. Do you think he do you think he poops and pees in these things? <laughs> well, the, th the fact that he's calling it a baby diaper. Um, you know, I think he might go all the way. Yeah, I mean if you're going to wear the diaper, why not? It's kind of a he says he wears mind. them every day. He says he's a proud member of of the the ABDL. You know, I was thinking if we could build like clothing that could recycle our waste and we wouldn't have to like stop what we're doing and go to the bathroom that we'd be less tense. Interesting. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe he's on that wavelength. Careful. Dude. It's a slippery slope you're on, Ian. What? Oh, you're right. Get me out of this ABDL hole. We don't We don't live on in dune land where they have to recycle all their not, yeah, their liquids no, because there's be no cool. water. Sometimes I just want to. Although NASA did pay. They paid uh, or they had a, you know, I don't know, a prize out there for anyone who could design a way to pee and poop in the spacesuits. Yes. I don't. I honestly, it's not. That's the future. It's, it's not. That's not necessarily a part of science that I'm interested in. Well, so I haven't actually paid too much. So, <laughs> what you have him wear diapers? Now, I'm afraid that if we start <laughs> making fun of this guy, that he maybe he's suffering. You know, maybe he's got some some mental anguish. Okay, well, that's causing cl clearly. Yeah. No, no. If okay. No, this Good is point. absolutely what it is. Yeah. And and you know what. I, I'm I hesitate on making fun of him. I just can't help laughing at this. The diapers because have like little little. It, it's when I, I was like, oh, that's that's weird, whatever. And then I saw that it's actually like a community, the ABDL community. And so I typed in ABDL and just in a search engine. I use DuckDuckGo, by the way. Me too. And you the first thing that popped up, look at this. The ABDL company, adult diapers, adult pacifiers, ABDL clothing, ABDL toys and accessories. Everything you need to start your adventure in the ABDL world. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Spank me, daddy. Wow. All right. So I, I want to keep reading because the, this guy, he's straight up complaining to this news company. Like you know and talks about it so I, i'm going to keep reading about damian turner here the u.s nappy lover from west virginia said acting like a baby gives off a very calm relaxing safe vibe but that his his lifestyle has caused problems in his professional life you think dude okay you think it smells you think the diaper smells i mean you if know, he's using it why would you want to sit around someone that's got a diaper what if you could like i've had bike i've had kids in my life i have my brothers were babies when i was like a teenager so like you can smell if they've got poop in there dude if he crapped his pants <laughs> Jeez. so he's saying here, i don't know if he does that acting like a baby gives off a very calm relaxing and safe vibe to him but to not to the people he, around yes. him the, exactly totally freaking him out duh excuse me damien it it's not a two-way street your comfort and your very calm relaxing safe vibe is just you Great point, Ian. Thank you for that. So currently he's unemployed. He is consistently in and out of jobs and has been fired 
uh, by previous employers for being childish. That sounds like nice. a personality trait. <laughs> Speaking to, to metro.co.uk, Damien said diapers are very convenient. Co well, there it is. Okay, so he does. There it is. Bad. He says they're very convenient. So we have proof. That's that's poop. The the proof is in the poop. Uh, comfortable and cute. Oh, all right. Now this this is weird. That's a judgment call. That's see now this is where where now that's like super suspect. Anyway, I, I'm gonna keep reading. It's very nice lifestyle, and I wouldn't want to do anything else. So it's like this is who he defined. This is I'm gonna scroll past this. No. Yikes. All right. Well, it looked like he had his pants down there, so maybe he wears it under his pants. He's showing it off. Oh, but actually, he talks point. about. He actually admits. I'll just keep reading. I'll keep reading. Dressing and acting like a baby gives off a very calm, relaxing, safe vibe. It's almost as if you were back in preschool without a worry in the world. Almost. Employment is hard. I'm constantly in and out of jobs. Sometimes my employers find my pictures online or can't put up with the fact that I'm wearing a diaper or acting childish in a in the workplace so he actually acts like a baby at work that's rough see dude just listen to yourself talk damien damien never hides his lifestyle choice but has lost friends and is often teased outside work what a surprise he has since been welcomed in the abdl community who have helped him feel at home well Okay. Silver lining. Oh, there you go. Found some new friends, I guess. He said, I've lost a few childhood best friends. I do still have a good few friends uh, and that know all about it. I never hide it. If you're around me, it's just the norm. And there he's showing off his diaper again. You got hairy legs. This is, the last, this is the last of it right here. Or maybe not. It keeps going. I don't know. I can't wait for it to end, though. <laughs> the, so the adult baby uh, used to work in the catering industry. He claims bosses felt uncomfortable about his actions. He's living off his savings now. He's just kind of like, whatever. He told his parents, who supports the lifestyle? Okay. It's an inconvenient problem. Fully embraced his lifestyle during his teen years. Okay, so he's been wearing some since he was 16. My goodness. Oh, man. So he started off because he had incontinence. Ma he was maybe. trapping himself. Yeah. And so they were functional. And then he just liked them. And now maybe he's a, maybe it's a dietary though, Damien. You can you can fix uh, it with your diet. Yep, a good point. Good point. So, let's see, uh, there he is. Oh, he, man. He's standing proud, showing his his newest diaper. I wonder if he got that from uh, the it's ABDL website. Oh yeah. I don't know. Who is knows? It the same diaper. I think it's the same diaper in all those pictures. Yeah. Well, he's talking about people making fun of him and whatever. You know, this is the, all I can think of. It, what did you? What was the first thing you said to me when I said is the story? This poor, is this like pedophilia? That right? It's like, it, it, is it or, and this is what I actually found out, paraphilic infantilism. I don't know if I'm saying that correct, but it is it got a couple different names. A baby, adult baby syndrome is a sexual fetish that involves role playing a regression t into an infant like state. Now. I, I guess it is about the person itself becoming the baby, but then, my gosh, I how do you even talk about this? It's just, it's actually, you know what, interesting, I just noticed that it says here, although it's commonly confused with pedophilia, mm. the two conditions are distinct and infantilists do not seek children as sexual partners. Well, at least you got that, Damien, okay. going for you, buddy, but watch out for who's going to want to be with you maybe they're right. when they find out you're an adult they're like ah actually i'm not, not into it anymore i can't believe this was a real thing i found out about this uh and i i i still almost don't believe that uh, it's their real website looked pretty good i mean yeah it was a clean website so someone it's, with talent built that yeah and it look at those colors yeah look they're the newest arrivals oh are there. God, dude. You know, you got uh, nasty. best. Nasty let's see their nasty. best sellers are the Dottie the Pony Adult Diapers, oh, Super Boompa Adult Diapers, Boompa. and the Rears Safari Adult Diapers. Safar Ooh. <laughs> oh, I'm not showing it. Sorry, I didn't realize. Uh, yeah, so there you go. You got the, the best sellers right there. Extra large adult pacifiers. Wow. I wonder what their stock is worth. I don't really want to find out. Yeah. Do you really want? No, to never. never. <laughs> it's information I would take, but I will never see. What is going on in the world? They talk about privilege. This is this is people who are way too privileged. 
like you guys need to tone tone it down a little bit. This is the first time I've ever said this, but they <laughs> they need to check it. <laughs> Cuz seriously, my my goodness, like how is this a thing? 200 years ago, humans needed worried about shelter, finding food, and not getting killed by the raiding parties that were it could have come at any time. And that was basically throughout history in, in until well, I mean there were civilized civilizations that existed and dropped and came like the Roman Empire and all that and you know now we're in this civilized world and we're spoiled to death that's what I'm seeing right now is that spoiled human you know we've got s sewage that's no one talks about you know think about where it goes eh, well I don't know whatever I just flush the toilet True. think about where food comes from well you're not growing it most people have green grass and they go to the store and they buy the food that they need. Some people out there actually believe food comes from the store. That's wild. It it's wild. And that's just it this here is just humans have spun out of control. And what did you say earlier about the rational male here? Well, they need purpose and maybe they need purpose. Without yeah. purpose you you deline you delineate into madness. You spiral off into some tertiary adult existence. baby diaper league yep or I, I don't man i can never you become the diaper i don't want to remember what this the abdl I never stands forget for. this. i don't no i, I don't want to remember it i want to forget this <laughs> i gotta get this off my screen i gotta stop it, looking at this like the uh 